Hey there, in today's video, I'm going to view this, the on-running 10 liter Ultra Vest. I'm making this video because I'm running a marathon in a couple of weeks time and I wanted to bring all my own water and all my own gels and everything else along with me. I didn't want to be picking up or putting down anything on the way. To do that, I'll be using my regular nutrition, which is a Kendall Mint in gels, but because I also wanted to bring some water, the gels have been the flasks at the front, I wanted to get a vest that would take a hydration pack. And to do that, I've picked the on running 10 liter. I'll compare it to a couple of other vests I have in this video, but essentially I want to go through all the individual quirks and features, dare I say it, of this particular running vest. As always, this video might be long. There are chapter markers down below, so you skip on through to the bits you might be interested in. Let's get going. I bought the vest in white from birdfreunded.eu. And the reason I bought it from Birkfreund was I could get it in extra large. I have in the Salomon Sense Pro, which I have here and I've reviewed separately, this is a, a medium and it, and it fits me fine. I was wearing it last weekend and it was perfectly fine. But in the marathon that I'm going to be running, it's uh, not sure of the weather and it might be that I want to put something that was more bulky under it. So I went for extra large in the 10 liter vest. I also have a vest that I bought ages ago from uh, also that I really liked, it's got a kind of jean sort of fabric uh, print onto it, a pair of matching shorts. This is 2XL and I can barely get into it. I, I had to, I set it back to get the, the very largest they had. I think they mainly do cycling things. So I was a bit worried about the sizing and if in doubt I decided to size up. Now on running as it happens, say for women to size down, but certainly I found in this particular size, the XL, it was very comfortable and again you can you can tighten it down and in, in something like a hydration vest i'd much prefer to err on the side of it being just a little bit too big i bought the white one it's easier to show details on the uh, on youtube on white but actually to be honest i bought it because i kind of fancied it yes it's probably a little bit cooler in hot weather but also it picks up a lot of you know it's going to pick up dirt and look much more <laughs> grubby but actually i think it looks really good in the white and it has a couple of reflective details here and there and it has everything else chuck it into wash and nobody's expecting this to be pristine for the entire duration but yeah i really like it in this particular white color in terms of weight overall without the bottles it weighs 223 grams this on running ultra vest 10 liter that's heavier than my solomon sense pro 5 again without the bottles at 144 grams you can save some weight by taking off the back piece in the uh, in the 10 liter and it'll be 195 grams then overall essentially when you read on the websites their five liter versions are in around the same weight the on running list at 127 grams so yeah, about the same weight as the Salomon Sense Pro overall. I was kind of shocked when it arrived because it came in this little bag and I, I was think, thinking it sure is more, but doesn't, it just comes in this very nice little zip bag of the same material. I actually popped the, I was, I was so surprised it would fit in here. I, I actually tried it with the Salomon Sense Pro 5 in here. It also fits, but it packs down really nicely, which is really handy for storing it once it's finished. And of course, you can pop something in this and put it into the stuff sack that goes on the back. And so it's actually fairly handy all around. This is the separate piece for the back that you see me um, sticking on the back of, of Quinn when I get around to showing Quinn, I'll stick it on the back. But this is completely detachable. The hooks are, they're very secure. I'll try and show a detail, a close up of one of them, but they are really secure, really easy to, uh, to get on and feel that it's gonna stay on. And I really do like the fact that it's convertible. I'm not sure how often I will need this. I might need it when I get uh, to the marathon because I might need to bring some rain gear, but hopefully not, but at least it's there. Here is my trusty assistant, Quinn, and here is the on-running hydration bottle made by Hydropack. And I'm gonna slide one into this particular pocket and then there are looped, uh, stays so you pull this out and then you loop that around and it should reduce or certainly eliminate the bouncing i didn't find any bouncing when i ran and one of the things about this is it's it's pointy so it slides in very easily another thing is it's got the wide fill bottle strangely it doesn't have the uh 
graduated numbers so you know how much is in it. Now it's a 500 milliliters. This is a one by Salomon and this is 500 milliliters. How much is that in? 17 fluid ounces. And this one has been criticized because it's got hard ends. I haven't had a, had a problem with it, but certainly these sort of, they're like um, a hard ping pong ball. Effectively, that's what it's like down the bottom. And sometimes that can chafe. These ones don't. They also have a little hook on them so you can hand hang them upside down, which for me was very useful yesterday when I wanted to dry them out for uh, today. So slide those two in. There's also a little piece of fabric in here to stop the hard top rubbing against your chest, which is very welcome and uh, it's the first time I've seen it. So they, they fit in really nicely. To adjust the vest, you've got these little uh, tabs here. You slot them in, you could change those to any of these and then you can simply lighten this or pull this. I found it super easy to use. I didn't adjust it once. I ran 30 kilometers in yesterday and I didn't adjust it once. I brought the phone, so I stick the phone down in the on running pocket. Very easy to get in and get out. I will, on the next marathon, I will be using Kendall Mint Gel, but I'm going to put it as I did yesterday in these because they fit more easily and you can still suck it through. Then I would possibly put, I probably won't, but I could put some cliff blocks in here, stick another couple in here and some precision fuel, which I've got a chew. They can all fit in there very easily. For most people, that would probably be enough. There are also some side pockets, so I'll take a GoPro, slide it in here. You can slide it in the other side. Bit awkward with, with Queen here to move stuff around. There is a little zipped compartment up here in which you can put a credit card, or I put the keys. So I'm going to take out a standard credit card or leap card in this case, pop that in there, and that means it's secure. There's a whistle somewhere here. I blew it. No, that's not the whistle, but it's on, it's on a pull tab here somewhere. It's not that fantastic a whistle, but it does work. I won't demonstrate it here, but there is a little whistle which would be standard in a vest. There's also a little, it's, it's lined up the top so that it's, it's water resistant, but it's a little pouch designed, I think, to put used gel wrappers so you could wrap something in there like that. And that pretty much is the front of the 10 liter vest. This is the uh, Velocity Hydro Pack, so I can just slot that down the back. I'll give you that to you there. You hold that like a good lad. Now it's in, there's a stuff sack down the bottom. So I'll take, say, this is my on running, lightweight running vest. It's sort of half waterproof sleeveless. You can pop that in. Again, it's got the same tightener. And there's a little zipped pocket across on the other side. It doesn't go the full way across, it goes about to here and takes a sort of credit card, keys, something like that, but very useful to have. And then on the back of this clips this, I don't know exactly the capacity, but I think in the five liter one, there isn't the ability to, to slot this up here. I don't think there's a second layer here. So I don't think the five liter one can take the, the, the hydration pack, but there are four mounting points here on the vest and I can stuff, I'm gonna stuff a, a rain jacket in here. I'll just take another on running rain jacket that I probably won't bring. Well, I might bring, but I probably, I would certainly wouldn't be racing in a marathon in it. Stuff this in here. Again, there does seem to be a water resistance in the uh, fabric in this, but again, I'll clip that on and uh, very straightforwardly and I'd be good to go. This Quinn fully loaded up with the Hydro Pack with the additional uh, removable pouch here with the rain jacket. And then if we spin them around. When I was running yesterday, I'll show clips of me running it. I simply just stuck that down there. It was perfectly fine. There's a shut off valve in case you're worried about that. But yeah, that is the loaded up 10 liter on running ultra vest. I really enjoyed running 30 kilometers in the Ultra Vest 10 liter. I didn't find any bouncing. I took some pictures at the end just running down the street. And yeah, I found it really breathable, really comfortable. Yeah, really good to run it. In terms of costs, the 10 liter is 179 euro 95 cent, 155 
pounds, $179.99 US, and $209.95 Australian dollars. By way of its comparison, the on-running 5 liter is a bit cheaper at $149.95 Euro, £130 sterling, $149.99 US dollars, and $179.95 Australian dollars. To compare the Sense Pro 5 with the on-running Ultra 10 liter, now I know it's not like with like ones 5 liters, ones 10 liters. Essentially, there's a couple of things about the Sense Pro that are really good. One is the zippers have a longer pull cord, and much more heavy duty zippers in the uh, Sense Pro. The ones in the on-running jacket, which are the same for the 5 liter, are just simple little tabs. You can't even pull anything through. Don't think that is as good. The bottles, uh, I mean, on the they're both made by Hydropack. These have the markers for the capacity. That's not available on the on-running version, but these pointy and this thing down the end makes this a better bottle from my point of view. If I was worried about the capacity, I could always measure it separately before putting it in. So that's not a big deal for me. I find that this is, a very, they're both very comfortable to run in, but the added flexibility of this is really good. The stuff sack at the back is really helpful. And I think on the five liter version, from what I can gather, the only difference between the five liter and the 10 liter in the on running, apart from the cost, is this little zippered section in at the back that is not on the five liter and also the, the piece to drop in. Ironically, I thought you could drop on the, uh, on the Salomon, you can drop a piece in because it's a stuff sack, you could put something in it. Um, and if it had a little cord, you could probably put the hydro pack, but you can't. So if I was picking one, I would probably pick the on running, even in its five liter capacity, but in the 10 liter, it just has that much more flexibility that yeah, that'd be the one I would go with. Should you buy the on running ultra vest 10 liter? I think it's, it's great. I think it's the, because of the flexibility, I think it's better than the on running five liter version. It costs a little bit more money, but that added flexibility for me is really useful. And the ability to get a hydro pack down the back means that the front pockets are way, way more flexible for me. Even if I wasn't carrying liquid gels, other gels, cameras, all that kind of thing. And I found the, the, bladder in the back was very comfortable on my 30 kilometer run so yeah i would buy it over the ultra 5 liter by on running and i'd probably buy the on running over the sense pro 5 by salomon simply because the shape of the vessels that drop in so much more easily on the on running vest but yeah the one i'd go for is this one the on running 10 liter i hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful if you did it would be great if you hit the like button as always there'll be lots of stuff in the description below and I'll happily answer any questions you put into the comments. There'll be a big blue subscribe button popping up there. It's our videos there. Thanks for watching. Until the next video, just keep running along.